If you ever consider buying a Zoom at Turtle Top or are figuring out a way to set them up, this might be a video for you guys. So, guys, I'm working again, building new stuff, always think about ways I can uh, make better use of the space I have to either get new animals or provide more space to the animals I have. And I actually have a bunch of these Zuma turtle tops uh, standing in my garage. And yeah, I'm looking for a way to put them to work and I actually found a way. And I have some turtles in my other room, which are these beautiful Sakalias. And I have a few of these and they're living quite happily in my turtle rack But I want to keep these guys in the cold room So I figured I could put the Zuma turtle tops to use and place these in there Because these turtles, uh, however beautiful they are you It's probably best to keep them separate And they don't get too big so they can live in those two Zuma turtle tops For quite a long time if not their whole lives but then I need to put the turtle tops in a sort of rack, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I figured these turtle tops will make a great housing for the Sakalia because they don't get too big and uh, they need to be kept separate. Uh, that's at least the best uh, thing you can do with the Sakalia. They can be pretty territorial, even the smaller ones you just saw, so I'd rather keep them separate. And I got these, so I might as well put them to use. Now, let's talk about these turtle tops first and what are they actually. Uh, these are the Zoomat turtle tops. And as you can see, it's a top that's divided in two sections. A land area and a water area. And I really like that. It's made of pretty sturdy material. You can pretty much throw them around and nothing will happen to them. And this is a big pro compared to the glass setups. So if you're thinking about buying one of these and considering different options, this might be an option for you if you're looking at strength and durability. Another thing I really like about the Zoom and Turtle Tops are these fact that there's a water and a land section. It's already there and you don't have to put a divider up, you don't have to build something in there or raise something in there to create a land area for your animals. And as you can see, it's quite deep. You can put a lot of substrate in there, you can even plant plants in there to create extra heights or shaded areas for your turtles. And of course, if there's a female that needs to lay eggs, you can also do that over here. The land area is also pretty accessible by means of this ramp over here with all these small stairways, let's call it like that. And that really helps the animals to get on there and get on the land area. So even if you have to water a bit more down, like I would do at the beginning with my Sakalia, then they can easily walk up and get on the land area to totally dry or walk around. What I also like about these tubs is the fact that they can see through there. And of course, we love our animals and we want to see them, see them behave. And seeing a turtle swimming or roaming about on the ground is really cool to watch. But the animals can also see through the glass. So which can often mean, as you will see in my Zebra Wakiella videos, that the animals see you or see something that's on the other side of the glass and they're constantly trying to get there which means they pretty much are constantly swimming against the glass and not making use of the rest of their setup. Um, some animals only do it when they see their owner but other animals, especially tortoises but also a lot of aquatic turtles, if they can see through something they're trying to get through there pretty much you want to see what's on the other side so they will be constantly uh, hanging around the edges instead of making use of their whole setup. So that's what I like about these. What I also like about them is they're, they're pretty light, so they're easily movable. They're absolutely worthwhile if you need to have a temporary setup or maybe a quarantine setup or something to quickly raise some animals or separate the animal for whichever reason. These will absolutely come in handy. So those are pretty much the pros of the Zuma turtle tops, at least those are pros to me. I really like them because they're very easy and quick to set up, they're very durable. Uh, so when I have an animal that I need to separate for whatever reason, a male that's just unreluctant towards the females, a sick animal or maybe some new animals I bought on a whim, let's call it like that, then I have something standing in my garage I could just pull out, set up and I'm done. 
um, which also very cool to me is they can see through them so that decreases stress uh, but they can also be a con so let's now talk about the cons too well one of the cons which is also a pro but to some people can be a con is the fact that you can see through there so there's less options for you to observe your animal except from looking above it and that also means you do have to keep space above the setup so if you have like aquarium you can pretty much see them from up front but if you want to see them in here you pretty much need to look in always so also when i build the rack i gotta make sure there's enough space in here so i can always observe my animal whichever part of the setup they are so also when you want to make as good of a use of the space you have then these zoom at turtle tops might not be the option for you because as you can see from the land area there's a pretty high range still and then you need to have space above there to actually get in here so i gotta think of that when i build my rack and what i mean by that is if this were the aqua terrarium from this section i would have just glass sliding doors maybe it would have been a bit higher but these were just being glass sliding doors so i can uh, access the terrarium from the front so that means i don't need all these extra space above here to get in the top so if it comes to making the best use of space you have then these are not the greatest option but if that's not the case with you that's no problem i guess and another thing I dislike about these subs is the fact they only come in one size. This is the size they make them in. And there are some other manufacturers like the Waterland tubs that make a lot bigger tubs like these. Um, but they're very hard to get in Europe and especially the bigger sizes. They cost a serious amount of money. So that's what I dislike about these. There are other options but when we look at Zoom and Turtle tubs, there's only one size. Now how big is this thing actually? It's about 1 meter long, 56 centimeters wide and 40 centimeters high, but the water area is about 20-20 centimeters deep. Um, and I gotta check because it's 100 centimeters long, but that's this area. So let's check how long the water section is. Now the lower part of the water section is 50 centimeters. And the highest part, so when the ramp is pretty much all the way up, is 66, 65 centimeters. So the water area isn't that big. And that's absolutely a con. Dish tubs, if you want to keep animals permanently in here, you can only keep very small species in here. So with the small species, I mean maybe mud and musk turtles. Maybe the spotted turtle, Clemens frutata, males, just to keep them separate. Females, they get a bit bigger. I would absolutely recommend to keep them larger. And for me, male Cicalia, maybe young females will be kept in here, separate with no other animals. But if you want to keep bigger animals like Trachemis, Pseudemis, or mother mother turtles, whatever, these are just not for you. These are way too small. So now we had a quick run through of all the pros and cons of the Zoomat Turtle Tops. If you want to know more about the Zoomat Turtle Tops or about the Zucalia that are going to live in here, I would suggest you looking at our website. There's all the links in the description, so everything you need will be below this video. And now it's just time for me to start up the first rack and uh, show you the way how I'm going to... Done. At least the base is done. 
Uh, I need to build a shelf on top of here and I'm also going to put some bracing in between here just to help with the weight that's going to be here but this feels already pretty strong and I still have to put the bracing in and yeah it's pretty much the same concept as my previous turtle rack these tops hang in these shelves I first wanted to build them on shelves but I figured I build them the same way as the other turtle rack because this way they become part of the structure and it's a lot sturdier of course I have the land sections on the same area because the heating lamps are going to be somewhere in between here so I want to make sure that all the warm side is on one side and the cool side is on the other side but yeah, pretty happy what do you think? cool huh? I'm glad well I made this one with all rest material so I already had these tops of course I had screws and this is wood I all had just laying around from all the stuff I built and took apart and rest material so I figured I built this one first to see how it works I'm pretty happy especially when there's a shelf on top of here I can easily see inside the tops yeah that's not gonna be no problem at all so I'm gonna build another one of this and put these in the cold room but that's going to be a next episode. I figured I'd show you the bracing in this video too. Now first, what I wanted to brace is these shells because there's going to be quite an amount of weight hanging on here and of course then it's only hanging on the screws that are going from here to here. And it works with my turtle rack but I figured better safe than sorry. So well, I put these braces below here with the screws from this side. So not only is the shelf hanging from here, it's also pressing up against these which are attached to this part. So that's what I did to make that a bit sturdy and it feels a lot more sturdy even than the previous uh, setup. I've thought about screwing the tops against the bracing also to make them part of the structure, but yeah, it seems to be good this way, so I'm going to leave it like that because the less damage I can do to, to these things, the better. And on the back, which you're not going to see, that's why I'm showing this to you guys now. Uh, put another sheet of wood, refurbish wood again, so it's a bit different color, but that's okay. It's going to be standing against the wall anyway, which I put against the back. Uh, stand and also against the shelves so it's attached to the back stand and to the shelves on every way also again to get a little bit more sturdiness from the weight that's going to be hanging on there and just to make sure it doesn't wobble around so yeah that's it can't wait to put them in place and yeah, put the Sakaliyan in here, but now I'm going to put them in place. Uh, next week I'm going to build the other one when I have time again. Then I'm going to set these guys all up. I'm going to put a shelf on top of here once the other one is attached to it. Because I'm going to attach the other one to the side of this to make it even more sturdy. And then my Shinisawas will be probably housed on top of here. Or I'm going to put some cold tolerant Asian pit fibers on top. Yeah, again, let me know what you guys think, and now I'm really going to end this video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.